You just moved to this area a few months ago. I've been told if you want to impress somebody, you take them to the Firehouse Restaurant in Old Sacramento. And they're actually making some changes to their menu. It includes some new items, but the restaurant says many of the favorites will still be on the menu. This morning we have Chef Jay Verjay, the Director of Culinary Operations for Harvard Go Restaurant Group and Firehouse Chef de Cuisine. Ha ha, wee wee, Maddie Love. Good morning to both of you. I'm thrilled to have you here. This looks amazing. What can people expect with this new menu? Well, it's always going to be the firehouse. We're an institution, and we will remain the institution of the firehouse. And it's fantastic that you, being new to the area, someone tells you about firehouse. Oh, yes, I've heard about it. And well, then your regulars, the people that are loyal to you, will be happy to know that their favorites will still be on. And what are some of the favorites? Well, the things that we're really known for, the Delmonico steak and, and some of the grill items and things, the filet mignon, and you know, these are things that are classic and they're not gonna go away. What we've done is we've become a little more sophisticated. I like to say that we're more focused in our cuisine style now, and we're just kind of cleaning it up for the modern Sacramento. We're trying to keep trend, we're trying to stay on track, and we're trying to be the leaders and not the followers in the world to come that is so exciting for us all with Sacramento going in great change and great direction. I'm so. just checking out how you're making this into a piece of art and I'm thinking, oh, that's how you do it. You take the brush and you just put the sauce on there. It looks fancy. <laughs> it, it is, and I mean, basically what we're doing here is just kind of, this is from our grill section. It's basically a, a, what we've always done, but now you have choices and options. So with your with your Delmonico or with your, your double cut pork chop, you can order a side. And this is just a one of many that we have that you have lobster mac and cheese, you have fresh burrata, you have maybe grilled asparagus. Uh, so this is a, a composed dish where you would order your piece of meat and say I would like one side and then possibly order the cream spinach, the Brussels sprouts. Mm. You get it as with or in addition. Okay. And we also have composed plates like the lobster three ways here. Uh, which we do on the menu, and Ex also our pork belly. Explain this here. What am I looking at uh, besides well, the lobster? you're looking at a broken down lobster, <laughs> basically, that's broken down and uh, steamed and poached in court bouillon. It has local greens on it. You have a, a little of the lobster claw there in the tail. You have a custard made from the bone broth, which is the shell, and basically that's our presentation. Okay, and then this dish here. Burrata cheese, local burrata cheese, local heirloom tomatoes, and pea shoots. This is in addition to your steak. It's a rich, creamy. Taste, very, very right? nice. Very okay. close to mozzarella, not being so set. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And basically, again, you have your pork chop, which is on our menu here. You have your Delmonico, and you have your pork belly appetizer. And these are some of the, I guess, new and old favorites that we are still refining, still working on, still having available at Firehouse. You've been with the Harvago Group for, uh, what, six, seven years now? Yes. And you are new, Maddie. I Tell am. me about your input, because I know you two collaborated on this. Yes, we did, um, especially with the uh, lobster three way and the uh, pork belly appetizer. Um, it was just, it's nice to have my influence on such an uh, uh, establishment like the firehouse. So um, being a new kid on the block was a little, a little frightening, but with uh, Jay's uh, tutorship, it's been, it's been great and um, an exciting and opportunity yeah, yeah, as well, been, no doubt. I know you have an extensive wine list as well. They can help you pair those wines with these dishes. Tell me your hours and exactly where you're located. Well, we're open Monday through Friday for lunch, and then uh, we're open seven days a week for dinner. Uh, we open at five o'clock for dinner. We also have a nice happy hour, uh, a great wine list, as you mentioned. Again, and that's a, the direction of the food is really to complement the 16,000 bottles we have in our cellar. My goodness. So, yeah, and that's, a, amazing. Well, that's a conservative number. There could be a few more Hyde Mario has that we don't know about. So. And yeah. as we just mentioned, if you've been before, there are some new items to try. 